How are you guys doing? It's Ace, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. If you guys want to know how to do this first person cinematic effect, make sure to watch the video until the end. It will be really quick and really fast. So the clip that you just watched was from my last montage. Make sure to go check it out and let's start with the video. So we're going to make something that looks similar to that. First thing we need is our clip. I know that clip was bad. I just got a really quick clip just for the tutorial. What we need to do now is head over to our replays for the clip so we could get the cinematics that we need. So there's a couple of ways you could do this first person cinematic, but first what we need to do is find the point where we actually killed the guy. As you guys could see, this is the place where I killed the person. So what we need to do is first make sure our focal length is at like 24, 25, 26-ish, around that range. Once that is correct, what we're gonna do is now make sure your camera is at the lowest speed I could possibly go, which is 0 0.05, and then just get rid of all of the things from the screen. It comes to your character close just like this, and just slowly move back and just move upwards at the same time, and you have this really cool cinematic look. Once we have that, what we need to do is get our first person cinematic. So to do that, what we need to do is first lower down the speed of our clip and find exactly where we shot. So, we, so right there, we're about to shoot, and what we need to do first. So for first person, I usually like my focal length to be like around 11, 10, or something like that, because it really like makes it so you can actually see what the character is doing so what we're gonna do is just like this is this might take a couple of tries but what we need to do is just basically get like a cinematic shot just like that i think that was a really good cinematic but obviously because need to take a lot more time to make it look clean but right now what we're gonna do is get into after effects and show you guys how to actually edit this now that we're in after effects you can use any software that you want vegas um premiere pro whatever you guys want it'll basically the workflow would be the same thing so first thing what we need to do is don't worry about these things right here this is basically my template that i made for myself to make everything easier i'll go through that a little bit later first thing we need to do is cut up our clips so we don't have unnecessary stuff that we don't need so now that we have all of our clips what we need to do is first for all of the cinematics which is this clip right here uh the clip that we go away from the character and the first person shot what we need to do is make sure we have uh this enabled right here so once we have that what we need to do is basically you guys are gonna take your time cut everything up make it look good but i'm just gonna go through this as fast as possible so you guys i don't waste you much time so first thing we need to do is come we're about to shoot the guy which is right here uh cut this up in after effects is command shift d is bring in our uh clip where the guy actually goes out and what we're gonna do is find the perfect place so it starts going out right here i'm just gonna cut this real quick and right now this is what we have so as you guys can see it is kind of long so what we need to do is make this faster so just cut up the end just a little bit so it doesn't have any still like frames in the end what we need to do now is time remap this so to do this what we could do is press command option and t on mac um i'm not sure what the button is for pc you guys could search it up it's come right here click this button which i did and this marker will pop up then just come right here click this button right here and another marker will pop up and then what we need to do is let's just say i usually like to do it like for one second or a little bit less i think from like this long should be good enough for this so we could just do it just like obviously it doesn't look good so what we need to do is select over just like this and press f9 on our keyboard once we do that click this button right here the graph editor uh right click click on edit value graph uh it might be on edit value graph for you guys as well but if not make sure to click on edit value graph then what we're gonna do is take this marker right here come up take this marker come down obviously i spend way more time on this so it could look clean but this is what we have right now click on the cinematic command d this will basically duplicate the cinematic we just duplicated the cinematic as you can see right here then what we're gonna do is right click and then go to time and then go to uh time reverse layer so this is 10 frames right here and it just goes down just like this all we need to do is bring this right here and then cut this up so it'll look something like this so what we need right now is that first person cinematic to so get that just bring out cinematic in for that first person shot bring it all the way up come right here what we need to do is time remap this as well command option t click on this button right here in the end and let's just see where we shot 
right here and we I want the cinematics to end right here click another button right here bring this closer I just want this to be like not you don't want your first minute shot to be too long uh, maybe about one second a two second might be a uh, too long this looks good as of right now so what we're gonna do is select this again press f9 on our keyboard go back to the graph editor and this time what we're gonna do is go to the value and so it'll be just like this obviously this looks good but we could add so much more stuff to make it look better color corrections shake uh, glow which I'm gonna do behind the scenes because it this video is not really about all of those stuff it's just about the first person so what I'm gonna do is show you guys one other thing and then I'm gonna finish up the video and show you guys the final product what you guys need to do is add this in any clip any cinematics that you guys have this is a necessary thing that literally any editor or anything that you guys want to do you guys have to have this it's called as blur mo curves but we uh, clip right here you can do is click the z distance right here you, you guys could also get this plugin for vegas i 100 know that just search it up towards the end of where it's gonna go to that cinematic that we have what we're gonna do is make it go out just a little bit i like to put it around 1.1 and then what we're gonna do is select this again f9 come to the graph editor go to speed this time not value graph go to speed like right click go to speed Come right here and just bring this up just like this. Just do the same thing for every single one of the cinematics that you guys have. Obviously, you guys are not only going out, you guys are also going in, which I'm gonna show right now. So same thing again, we click this button right here. We clicked on reflect, reflect, copy the same settings that I have. Go to your effects, then click on this right here. And then right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a marker. If you guys don't see this marker, like right here, you guys could just click this button and the marker will pop up. So you're gonna to come to the beginning. Right now, we're not gonna go out, we're actually gonna go in. You guys gonna see what I mean just a little bit later. So what we're gonna do, do the same thing, click on, uh, select everything, click on F9. So now we're just gonna go to the other side, just like this. This looks a hundred times better. It actually looks cleaner than what it looked before. If I show you guys the final product of what actually this looks like, make sure to drop a like, it's free. And also subscribe. If you guys don't like it, you guys could just unsubscribe later. Just help a guy out, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.